Hey beautiful artist friends, today I am going to give you a sneak peek into one of my most favorite books that I use as reference, as inspiration at the moment. It is the book called Petal by Adriana Picker. And I'll also be sharing with you all the paintings that I have made using this book as inspiration. So I hope you will enjoy this video, keep watching. And this is my copy of Petal and unfortunately I have left it in the sun so it's actually ruined the cover a little bit but it says here the world of flowers through an artist's eye. And this gorgeous book is by Adriana Picker and she's an Australian digital artist. And if you follow me on Instagram and on Miss channel I really very often um, use her book as inspiration for my paintings so I can't wait to show you this book and several of the paintings that I have used um, I mean painted using her reference. Let's start by the first one which is the actual cover. So I love to paint the cover because usually um, a lot of books they put the best photo on the cover isn't it? I don't know how they choose um, paintings or what put, they put on the cover but I love the cover because it's got these gorgeous poppies and I just had fun painting them in my sketchbook. It's obviously not my most favorite painting or anything but I uh, just wanted to show you an example of how um, I use this as inspiration. I was quite close to the color palette and I just experimented with brush strokes to create um, that same way that she does. So the beautiful thing about her art is that although it's digital, it is very much like watercolor. And oh my gosh, just look at this first page, Petal. In fact, let me find you another painting that I think I use this page as inspiration. So yes, this is actually her title page. And I just used the beautiful roses here as reference to this sketchbook painting. And I made it my own by just adding a different uh, colored background. And I love all my sketchbook paintings. If you want to know which sketchbooks I use, um, I put the link in the description below. But this one's a Stillman and Burn. And I even have some videos that I talk about the different scratch sketchbooks I use. And I have a couple of sketchbook tours as well. But in any case, this is the title page and I just love how all the roses have different colors and what I love about her, her book especially is that um, every, uh, every piece of uh, art, every painting has a beautiful composition or a very interesting crop and as well as the detail. So if you are stuck for how do you want to do your watercolor painting, um, I just love the way that all her, her flowers feel like a watercolor. So she's basically um, got them categorized in, you know, um, all the different sort of flowers, rose, legume, daisy, protea, lilies, all the way up to our favorite poppies and peonies. So uh, I won't obviously flip through the whole book, but let me just skip to the ones that I made paintings of and uh, let me know what you think. So. Oh my God, her orchid section just really, really inspired me because just check out that detail and that watery uh, bleeds that are happening in this digital orchid. So this one here, I was just so inspired. I, I think I painted this a few times, but let me just show you one of them. All right, so this one is almost a direct sort of like copy. Well, not really direct, but very, very influenced by this painting. Three different shaped um, orchids. And then I kind of like did another one. I think this is the one earlier. So as you can see, I used a bit of neon here and lots of splatters. So I just found this painting really, really inspiring for me to create two different sketches of it. Um, just love the orchid section. I mean, orchids don't really get that much attention I feel because maybe it's tropical uh, but I did a, a larger one. Oh wait hang on this is another one that I did. <gasps> is that crazy and I believe this is also inspired by this first one so it's these two but I added a really dark background um, and let me show you one more orchid piece that I'm sure is inspired by 
these orchids here. So this is a large one. It's a full sheet watercolor paper. And I'm not sure it's quite done yet. It still feels like it, that more layers could be added on. But these two here are inspired by these ones here. And I think this inspired this one here. So uh, overall, I love the orchid paintings. And also I did one for an exhibition where I painted my body as well with orchids on it. I won't show it here because um, it's, it's hidden somewhere, <laughs> but I love the orchids. Okay, let's go on. Seriously, this book is so amazing. Um, and all right, the Protea. The Protea is also another favorite of mine because it is considered uh, an Australian native. And here is my painting of this page, which I did very, very quickly. And I have filmed it actually, so it will become a YouTube video, um, which I really use these two proteas as inspiration for this. Just loved how it, how it turned out. Super simple, super bleedy. I love it. Um, I also actually made a spread on this same sketchbook featuring a few more of my, the native florals. Hang on, let me find it. There we go. Here, so we have the Banksias, um, the Warata, beautiful red Warata, Banksias, and here we have the King Protea. Yeah, so I love this page, I love this spread. All right, what else? We've got the lily section, which is super gorgeous. The iris. Now, I definitely, you know me, if you know me and follow my channel, I'm nuts about the iris. So I have painted this a few times, I'm pretty sure. But let me find the first time I did it here on this, this sketchbook. I, I think I did a sketchbook tour on this one already. And uh, yeah, it's basically from this gorgeous uh, inspiration. Simply stunning. Love it so much. Let me flip. Yeah, and I showed you the front cover where I did those uh, poppies. And let me show you another one here. This is actually a whole page of poppies that I used from her book. So I kind of like flip through a couple of the different poppies. I got this one here from this one. So you can see, sorry, can't really see there. And then these blue ones from here. And then these orange ones from, from here. Yeah, and these fluffy ones right behind here. So just having a go at the composition of creating my own little poppy spread. Um, I am not super happy with this painting, to be honest. I don't think I even finished it. You notice here, I just kind of like gave up and lost a bit of steam, but I might come back to it one day. Um, but yeah, what else, what else? Oh my gosh, passion flowers. So these pages of passion flowers, also super inspiration, inspiring. So much so that I painted these. Let me show you. And you might recognize this if you do my tutorials. This one is using the Christy Rice brush, her three quarter inch dagger. So that's from inspired by these passion flowers. Let me see if I can find, yeah, like these two are pretty much these. And this yellow one is this yellow one here. And then I also did another one using inks, my watercolor inks, uh, liquid watercolor using these as inspiration, passion flowers. All right, last but not least, I have this gorgeous, da -da -da, hollyhocks. If I can say so myself, I'm so happy with them. They're so pretty. Um, this is pretty, obviously, but I think my painting is really pretty as well. Um, I did two, I actually did one just for fun. And then I um, painted it again and recorded it for my Patreons. So if you're interested to do a tutorial of this hollyhock painting, it's on my Patreon page in the Inner Circle tier. 
um, as a bonus tutorial and yeah, I'm so inspired. You notice how mine has m more values and more shades and different colors. Hers is sort of like simple, monochrome. So um, just goes to show you how you can look at a painting to just get started and then create something from it. So yeah. All right, so that is all the inspira inspiring paintings that I have done from this one book alone called Petal. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed watching the video and seeing all the paintings that I have made from this book. If you wish to learn more watercolor from me, my YouTube channel has a ton of tutorials, so be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I also have a Patreon if you're interested to learn a little more in depth with me. I do a live painting with my Patreons once a month, and I also have online courses. Everything is on my website. Uh, links below in the description. Otherwise, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!